The hero section is the very first thing your visitors are going to see when they visit your website. Today, I'll walk you through creating a hero section for a realtor landing page and how to style Divi's full width header module. All right, let's jump on in. Here I have a landing page that I wanna use using Divi's Realtor Layout Pack. For more detailed instructions on how to install and use this, there's a link in the video description below, so check that out for the blog article. What I wanna do on this page is add a full width header section that includes a background image, a background gradient, and a background pattern. So first of all, I'm going to add a section here, and it's going to be a full width section, and we'll use a full width header. And now let's style this to match our website branding. So we'll start with a title that makes sense. So we'll use, let's find your dream home. For the subtitle, we'll use our made up realtor name. I'll have two buttons here. The first one I'll have book a free consult. And then for button two, I'll have email me. For the body text, I'll just add some lorem ipsum here as placeholder text. So now what I wanna do is style the background here. So we're gonna go down under content, down to background. And here I'm gonna delete this background that we have already and I'll add a background gradient. So click the background gradient tab and we'll add a background gradient. Now for this, I'm gonna use colors that I already have picked out. Again, check out the blog article for these specific colors, but at the 100% stop, I'm gonna add the color that we want here. Then for our first stop, I'm gonna drag this up to about 70% or so, and I'll add the color that I want for that gradient. And this will just match our website colors that we're already using. Now I'm gonna change the gradient direction here, and I'm gonna change it to 88 degrees. And where it says place gradient above background image, I'm gonna to toggle this to yes. So now what I wanna do is add a background image. So we'll go back up to the background settings, go to background image, and we'll add a background image. If you're already using the Realtor pack or you've installed these images, you can use the same ones as me and follow along. And so I'm gonna select this image here, and now you can see what it looks like. And now what I wanna do is add a background pattern. So we're gonna go over to background pattern. We'll click this and we'll add a background pattern. So instead of polka dots here, I'm going to change this down to tufted. And then I'll adjust the background color here and we're gonna use RGBA 0000.2. So now I'm happy with the way this background looks. So let's customize it more in the design settings tab. Here I'm gonna adjust the layout. So we'll click layout here. And instead of left alignment, I'm gonna center this. And where it has make full screen, I'm gonna turn this to yes. And now you can see our changes are reflected here. And now we'll style the title text. So we'll go down to title text. For the font, instead of default here, I'm gonna change this to the Meriwether font. And for the title text size, I'm gonna change this to five REM. So now what I wanna do is style the body text. So we'll go down to the body text and instead of this font, I'm gonna change this to open sans. We'll select that. And for this font size, I'm gonna change this to 16 pixels. And I'm gonna adjust the body line height a little bit. I'm gonna up this to about two EM. All right, I like how this is looking. Now we're just gonna style the subtitle text and I'm gonna change this from default also to open sans. I'm gonna change this weight from regular to bold. Under subtitle font style, we're gonna make this uppercase. And then I'm going to adjust this text color to make it stand out a little bit. So we're gonna change it to this nice color here. And I'm going to increase the subtitle letter spacing a little bit up to about three pixels. Now I like how our design is looking, so let's style the buttons. So we're gonna go under design, button one, and we're going to toggle use custom styles for button one to yes. I'll adjust the text size. I want it to be about 18 pixels here instead of 20. Then I'm going to add a background color. So we're gonna add a background color here. And I'm gonna use this nice tan color. And then for the border width, I don't want this to have a border, so I'm gonna drop this down to zero pixels. And for the radius, I'm gonna also make this zero pixels to have a nice square button. And then I'll scroll down here a bit. And under here where it has padding, I'm gonna adjust this padding here. So I'm gonna link these. And for the top and bottom padding, I'm gonna add 10 pixels of padding here. And for left and right, I'm gonna add 25 pixels. Now let's style the second button. So we'll go down to button two and we'll also use custom styles for button two. We'll toggle this to yes. I'm gonna drop down the text size down to 18 as well. And then for this one, I'm not going to add a background color, but we are gonna change the background border a bit. So for the border color, I'm gonna add a color here and I'm gonna change this. And I'm gonna use this color here, which is RGBA 255, 255, 255, and then 0 0.19. Now for the border width, I'm gonna drop this down to one pixel here. And for the radius, I'm gonna drop this down to zero pixels so we get the square button similar to the first one. Now we'll scroll down and adjust the padding as well. So I'm gonna link the top and bottom padding. I'm gonna add 10 pixels here. And for the left and right, I'm gonna add 25 pixels. All right, this looks great. So what I'm going to do is save this here. Now we just have to move our full width header to the top of the page. So I'm just gonna simply move that to the top. Now we have it at the top of the page. So let's save this. And then I'll exit the visual builder to view our final page. Now you can see we have this gorgeous full width header section that matches our realtor page branding and ties in all our design elements.
Be sure to check out the blog article that's linked in the description below. It has all the examples that we use today, including the layout and instructions on how to install that yourself. Also check out some of the other videos that we have on our YouTube channel, including different tutorials, guides, layout packs, and more. Thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.